Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Jackie Fish. Welcome back to some more Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlords. Today, we'll be diving in with a brand new mod spotlight. Today, taking a look at a sub mod for the More Troops mod. So if you don't know what the More Troops mod is, basically it takes all the assets inside of Mountain Blade 2 Battle Lords and creates a ton of new units for them for every single faction. So if you are looking to spice up your campaign with new units, I highly recommend the More Troops mod. And the mod we're going to be looking at takes that mod and adds in a ton of new custom assets for about five or six Valandian units. These custom assets are taken from a ton of different mods that are again on Nexus mods. If I, I'll link the main ones down below in the description. If you follow the instructions, for the sub mod he will tell you to go ahead and download all the mods that you will need so don't worry about that you will get uh, you will get all of them as long as you follow the, the instructions basically this mod adds in a ton of new custom uh, assets from a, a ton of different mods creating some really epic units which are an absolute joy to see on the battlefield and this is really exciting time to see a handful of these mods come out as we have had mod tools for roughly around about uh, a couple months now. So it's great to see them starting, you know, the assets starting to find their way in. And a lot of these assets as well are very, very cool. Um, and we will take a look at them. So this is one of the first Vlandian units uh, that is part of the sub mod we're taking a look at. Uh, this is just the Vlandian Custode. And again, we'll take a look in the campaign map as well. So you can actually take a look at the custom trees as well. Because you will have to go down the, the, the troop trees to actually unlock these guys. I'm using the Enhanced Battle Tester mod. Again, I'll link that down below in the description. Which just allows me to kind of create some cool custom battle scenarios. And we can just take a look at them. But obviously, in the campaign, you'll have to grind for these units and upgrade your soldiers. So that's the Valandian Cross, uh, Custode. He is an arch unit, two quivers on his back, longbow, uh, heavy armor, ready to mess up anyone who gets in his way. Then we have the Vlandian Sergeant at Arms. This guy is basically just like a sturdier frontline infantry equipped with a mace throwing axes, a kite shield, and an awesome custom helmet. That helmet looks absolutely amazing. And I believe a lot of these assets are, I think this at least this chest piece is part of the Swardian armor mod. Uh, there's about six or seven of these armor mods you're going to have to download to get this working, but it's worth it. It really is. So that is the Vlandian Sergeant at Arms. We have, then have the Vlandian Voyar. This guy is obviously a halberd wielding beast, heavily armored uh, and ready to get stuck in, equipped with that halberd. Um, and yeah, his helmet looks amazing. His armor looks great. Really, really cool stuff. Very, very medieval indeed. Then we have the dismounted knights. I'm going to try and pronounce this like Eastern German word. I'm going to butcher it. Uh, but these are the dismounted warriors. They have kind of the, uh, the Dark Souls helmet on, uh, which looks great. Obviously, the rest of the armor is, is uh, looking very clean as well. Obviously, has the men at arm sergeant's undercoat on as well. But the main thing about these guys is going to be this a bad boy sword. It's kind of clipping through the armor right now, but we'll see it on the battlefield in a second. And they look really awesome. I mean, look at that bad boy right there. Ready to really get stuck in. And then finally, the last unit that this sub mod does add in is going to be the knights. Um, again, very, very awesome stuff. Able to really, really get stuck in, and these guys are heavily armored indeed. Equipped with a lance, a mace, a, a big old shield, and that awesome, awesome winged helmet as well. So, I'm gonna be the main units. I'm also gonna just change my color really quickly. Uh, we'll go green because green does look cool, and it probably makes the, uh, the knights look, yeah. The undercoat looks great on them. Um, sergeants, yeah, looking awesome. The outcoat looks a little bit weird. The black was kind of cool, but the rest of these guys. That looks awesome. So we're going to go up against the Sturgeon Force. And again, just to kind of show you guys what some of the, the default more troops mod does do. Adds in an absolute ton of units. I mean, look at all these units uh, that the Sturgeon. This is also part of the uh, the sub, like the sub clans as well, like the Lake Rats and stuff. Um, but yeah, it does this for every single faction. Adds in a, a ton of cool custom units. Uh, and oh, again, all, I think the majority of these assets are just in the game already. That the modder has tireless gone around and kind of redone every single unit. To make them look really, really unique and interesting. And sure, they can have some Huskull Swordsmen. So yeah, let's just dive into the battle. Uh, I'll set up my formation. We can take a look at them and we'll have a small engagement. And then we will jump into a custom battle. So that you guys, oh, sorry, into the campaign. So you guys can see a few, a bit more about the tech trees themselves. Uh, when we do get stuck into them. So I think we are pretty outnumbered. Um, I can't see exactly how many they have. But we're set up quite nicely. Uh, so let's go ahead and just set up our formation like here. We'll get the archers there, get the men at arms set up here, we'll set up the halberds on the flank, we'll set up these guys over here, and then the cavalry can just uh, probably just get up in, into the forest like so, because the enemy are going to be charging at me, as I said, we are outnumbered, 
about two to one almost. So it's going to be a hard fight. There you go. The cavalry moving across. Looks great in green. Let's uh, dismount really quickly so I can take a look fully at all these units as everyone gets into position. Quickly, men. And also one of the great things about the more troops mod as well is it adds in a mod that uh, forces you to or basically creates a lot of variation in the uh, in the setup so again not every soldier in the same unit will look identical which is something i really like so these are the valandian sergeants at arms very very dope unit uh looks absolutely great equipped with their axes they also have throwing axes as well on the far right hand side we do have the dismounted knights look at them uh, jagged blades as well deadly unit look at the engraving on that helmet such an awesome uh, detachment that you can have in your army. And I love the way as well that they look. Uh, the enemy are getting kind of close. So we'll, uh, we'll speed this up really quickly. The, the sergeants right here. Again, looking great. And we'll actually move these sergeants back a little bit. And get them into a, a looser formation so they can actually fire. Uh, then on the far right hand side. Yeah, we're getting very close. We do have the, uh, the halberd infantry here again. Looking absolutely beautiful. So very, very good indeed. And then we'll quickly go take a look at the cavalry. Oh my god, they are closing in on us as well. Prepare, boys. Let's get this infantry into a shield wall really quickly. And then we'll go take a look at the cavalry. Uh, they're going to have a look at that shield wall going forward as well. It looks beautiful. Look at that, man. Arch is trying to do some damage. And then we have the cavalry up here as well. But yeah, this is simply just the sub mod as well. These, this cavalry looks sick as well. Look at the axes. Ready to come flying down. Should we just charge in with the cavalry? I think so. Give them hell, boys. Let's go. As the lines clash in. Oh, my God. That was epic. I love the way that they've all got their shields up as well. Something I wish Friends of Britannia could have. Moving around. And, yeah, the cavalry charge was pretty effective. Let's get this cavalry charge back up now as well. Get the cavalry, like, over there. And then we'll get to we'll dismount and fight with the men as well. So you guys can see what these guys are made of up close and personal. But yeah, the models look absolutely great. They really do. And what we can also do is we can just go cinematic mode as well. I can go ahead and turn off the... If we go to gameplay, is it? And then turn off the um, friendly banners and report damage. Is that the one? Report casualties, yeah. And experience. We'll turn that off so we'll go a bit more cinematic. I've got oh, that's my sword, yeah. So you guys can really see the uh, the battle lines coming in. We're gonna need the cavalry, so we're gonna need this infantry. Oh, this is a problem now as well. I don't know what's what. I think it's these guys. So we'll get them in. The cavalry can come around up there. The front line is uh, yeah struggling a little bit. Our archers as well we need to fall back to like here, try and command this battle. Cavalry's coming over. Let's get the cavalry in to help out. Yeah, yeah, you guys can see what these guys are made of. We get them stuck in now as well. So the, the sergeant's men at arms did a pretty good job at holding. But they did get beaten back by just the sheer weight of numbers. Archers did a great job. And yeah, then the halberds, the shock infantry come in and just absolutely slaughtered. There you go, we broke the enemy. Cavalry roaming around now. Uh, but yeah, you guys can see the, the true glory of these, this, these, uh, these infantrymen. They are so great. And they are a very deadly unit. But Morda has tried to balance these guys. These are top tier infantry units. So they're going to be expensive. Uh, you're generally probably not going to have like 40, 50 of these guys per army like I do in the campaign. But they do look amazing. That guy taking a javelin underneath the, the leg as well. But yeah, the day is indeed ours. You can see the men cheering. Deadly stuff. And again, I imagine these guys would be a perfect unit to like, be your shock infantry in the midst of a, uh, of a charge, you know? Yeah, look at him cheering on glory. So cool, that's going to be them. How many kills did we end up getting? Like, how good of a unit? So, yeah, the Custodes getting 62 kills, really impressive. Sergeants, yeah, the Sergeants got 38 kills, but they also lost 38. So, not the, the best trade in the world. And then the Shock Infantry just slaughtered. Yeah, indeed. We did have better quality than them. And, and in Mountain Blade uh, Banner Law, that really does matter quite a lot. So what we'll do now is we'll load in the campaign really quickly. I'll cut it so that we are in the campaign. And you guys can take a look at a bit more about the unit trees. And also see a bit more about the... Uh, the uh, more troops mod in general, which is the, the main mod we're using. But we're using the Valandian sub mod for it. 
Um, but yeah, but we'll, you can take a look at the more troops mod as well, so that uh, you guys can just take a look. This might be a mod. You might not want the Vlandian one, but you might want the more troops one, which is, you know, something I would definitely recommend. It spices up the campaign dramatically. Okay, so we are in the campaign now. Let's just quickly take a look at some of the units we do have access to. Again, do keep in mind, well, one of the things we can do for the Empire, at least, is just go and recruit some soldiers. Because when we look in the wiki, it's not going to be as big. So if we just grab, like, three soldiers, we can look in our party and it, it's not going to be as uh, as bad. But yeah, as you can see, the, uh, the unit trees themselves have uh, been, I think, added a couple units here and there. Um, and the average unit has been improved as well. So each unit itself will be looking much nicer than the base game. We're not much nicer, but we'll have a lot more to them uh, as assets get spliced in here and there. Um, and again, the trees have been completely revisited. So again, the, the higher upgrades you get, the more utilized uh, units and special units you will get as you go further forward. These are going to be the, uh, the main units for the empire um but yeah the factions are going to be you know pretty much throughout you know again for example you can even get some rodok infantry for the the landians i assume that's going to be like a special cult or something where you'll be able to unlock these guys and again you know this might not be like super accurate you know it might there might be um a few things here and there that you might not think would be you don't really want um, but again, I think it looks great. Adds in a bunch of new units and stuff, which I think just spiced up the game. And again, just seeing more variation on the battlefield, I think is also great. Not just seeing the same units over and over again. And these are some of the uh, special units that we have uh, added in. You can see the, uh, the voyeurs right there, right at the end of the skill tree. The sergeants right at the end of the skill tree. The Landian men at arms, which is kind of cool. The sword nobles. And again, just some really, really cool t skill trees. Uh, and you can see there are multiple units uh, you know, throughout. The knight tree right there, the men at arms, or oh, the hunt marshals, it looks so good. Uh, you got these soldiers as well, the ones we were just using. So yeah, the, the skill trees again, that's just for Valandia as well. If you go to something, I don't know, like we already see, so Britannia, for example, they're going to have a, a bunch of their own custom units like that, you know. Again, just new armor added in and, uh, you know, spliced around to make the unit just feel a bit more alive and worn. And again, something to keep in mind as well with these encyclopedias and these troops is because of the variation mod that we've also got, which you're going to need to require, you're going to need to download. And again, will be in the, uh, the install guide on Nexus mods is uh, these units are not all going to be wearing the same armor 24 7 you know these guys are going to be having different armor pieces on uh, or slight variations again just to make them feel a bit more a bit more alive a bit more uh, you know a bit more unique than just everyone in uniform uh, and the same thing uh, the Azari again they're going to have their own custom stuff I can't believe as well that this bug has not been fixed yet with the camels like the camel unit cards I can't believe that still has not been fixed the game has been out for like eight months now and the camels are still all over a place. And I'm pretty sure as well that they still have uh, texture issues as well. Uh, so you can see some of the Palantine Guard right there. Again, just kind of small additions to a lot of the cavalry. That cavalry unit looks great, the Mamluk Horse. So yeah, I think this is a great mod. Uh, definitely recommend it, especially if you're going to be looking just to play some custom battles. Highly recommend the more troops, uh, the more troops, the Landian sub mod that I'm using. But also just more troops in general is great, especially if you're just playing battles. But also, I think it makes for a really fun campaign because there's so many different variations on the campaign map, which I think add in a ton of really, really exciting battles, combat. You know, again, everyone's going to be having different units, um, which, just, yeah, again, I think just adds in and makes for some really exciting battles so that's gonna be today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy it if you want to see more mountain blade on the channel let me know by clicking the like button and commenting down below just telling me you want to see more mountain blade i'm kind of holding off on doing another campaign until there's like a big overhaul mod i've been looking at caradian uh, awakened which is kind of like adds in magic guns and all that stuff um but i don't know maybe i will maybe i'll stick to just doing some more custom battles with the enhanced custom battle mod and just custom units um, or maybe I will just dive in and do like a mini campaign. Not really 100% sure yet. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. I'm always happy to, uh, to listen and, and hear out what you guys have to say. Um, if you are not part of my Discord, make sure you join it. Link is down below in the description. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Patreons are a huge help to the channel. And I really, really appreciate every single one of you guys. So thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one.